Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're working on the heater hose here for the O2 um, GMT Silverado. GMT Silverado. GMT Sierra. There we go. There we go. Uh, what happened was a couple weeks ago I'm driving along into one of the yards stop and there's a bunch of steam coming out from this side of the hood and I'm wondering you know what in the world blew but it's so strange why it's steam coming up from here anyway pop the hood spray and the free sprays all around and it turns out <clears throat> that I thought the heater core went well as you can see it wasn't the heater core it's this connection right here and it broke off right at the base of the hose you got about that much of the inlet it's still stuck in the hose so thankfully I was able to bypass the hose from off of the uh, coolant tank and finish my day it's been running fine for two weeks so that's a good fix but I looked online found a couple videos and what you need to do is use this tool um, for fuel lines or I believe there is a specific tool made for these plastic uh, disconnects so we're going to see if we can get it on it's a little bit of a stretch see if we can get on here this is the 5 8 variety and you're supposed to be able to stick it on here just like on your fuel lines and you're supposed to be able to pull it off this feels like it might be a little a little tricky we don't want to break the heater core uh, just to get this off but it looks like it is going to be a little bit tight I'm going to cut here off for just a second go get some PB blaster maybe it'll make it easier might just have to use some elbow grease visibility is a little tricky all right hold right there the truck's got about right over 200,000 miles on it so I don't know if it's age that makes this piece susceptible to go or just the um, an amount of wear and tear I don't know but uh, you know the time indeed came where it let loose so it will spin that's good because the the inlet to the heater core if you look it up online is aluminum so and it's just uh, it's gonna get the connection on there and I feel like I got that trim piece a little bit better Now I saw a little grabber tool that you can get from O'Reilly's or AutoZone where you can just pull it off from here, which might be helpful. I think you can rent that for 20 bucks. This doesn't seem to, uh, seems pretty stubborn. We'll go ahead and get a new length of hose as well. Alright, so we got our angle needle nose. Just seeing if that would make a sufficient puller, and I think the answer is no on that. Or maybe. Let's see. Feel it spinning. I don't know if it's spinning off or what. It's kind of hard to get the fingers back there. That little claw tool might be helpful. I think it's separated yet. Nope. Let's see if it's... Yeah, see from here you got better, better leverage, but you got to be able to pull. So you need a, a higher little stand. Ready to stretch. Let's try a different stool. Alright, a different stool. Now either I kill myself or we get it off. Let's see. Okay. 
camera. Different location. Feels like this setup may possibly be good enough to get both hands on. It's pretty tight though. Could be all kinds of, oh, there you go, folks. Slid right off. Oh, that's kind of cool. Took less time than I thought, so you need the, uh, the 5 8 uh, clip and it goes in, unsnags your pins right there. So these will work for sure. You just gotta get the right, right angle, maybe a little bit of PB blaster, I don't know. But uh, I'm just give it a try and see. What I might try to do is see if I can get the other side off. My dad looked at it and said, well, maybe go ahead and stick, use this hose too so you don't end up with the same thing happening. So, might do that. Let me give it a try real quick. Get a picture here for Instagram. Instagram. Really common issue on these trucks from what I read. Seems to be a fairly big deal. This side looks a little trickier to get to. A little bit less hand room to work with. So. But it might be better just to go ahead and get everything replaced while we're at it here before I top back the in there, okay. Before I put the fluid back in. This one's pretty tight. Remember, we don't want to we don't want to break our uh, heater core either. So just play it as cool as possible. I can't tell if it's moving or not, to tell you the truth. It'll spin, so that's good. That might help work in your uh, your fuel for, your fuel line connect easier. But then the back of the uh, back of the firewall comes down so you can't really get your fingers well in behind this. Don't put too much weight on the AC either. And watch out for your stool sliding beneath you. Yep, there it goes. There you go. There's the other one. We'll go to um, O'Reilly, see what we can find here, and uh, go from there. Not too hard. See if we can get the exact parts we need here and get it back on the road.